the performance at uh, Lamar Saturday night and the Demons' victory? Well, it was a well-rounded win for us. I thought we played very well in all three phases. Very proud of our offense. They came out and did a great job of keeping Lamar off, off base. Uh, we're very balanced in our attack. Had eight different receivers catch footballs, a bunch of different backs run balls. Thought Brad Henderson played extremely well. And uh, it was just a, just a great effort offensively uh, as we racked up our highest total yards on the year. And the time of possession was great, but uh, just a well-rounded win for our football team. Okay. Um, it puts you at two and one in the conference. Um, talk about as you reach the middle of the conference race with this game Saturday, uh, talk about uh, the conference race. Well, I mean, with one loss, you're always right in the middle of the conference race. Uh, one great thing we got going, you know, we, we've got one loss, uh, that's to McNeese. McNeese still has the heart of the schedule to play, and uh, you know, we, we still play the heart of the schedule as well. And, uh, you know, what we have to do is win out. And, of course, we're looking at the ticker of a week to see what happens to McNeese State at this time. but. Uh, a win's big this week because it puts us four and three at the open week, three and one in conference play, and we get a week off to get healthy. So just a, just a big win. Uh, I think open week will come at a good time for us next week, but we got a great homecoming event here Saturday in Turpin Stadium at six o'clock. So just looking forward to a, to a great, great game, uh, a great win, and uh, you know playing at home in front of our homecoming crowd. Defensively, you gave up only 17 points. You gave up only two touchdowns. So. In the last three games, your defense has allowed four touchdowns. Uh, that's winning football. Talk about what's making your defense so effective. Well, you know, I think we're doing a great job of, of fitting the run. I think we're and, and making teams one-dimensional. You know, and uh, I think the other thing we've done, we for the most part, we're making them earn it. You know, we gave up a couple of shots uh, the other night, but it, uh, I look at that a little different because that quarterback was did such a great job of scrambling and getting each with his feet. And we really didn't let him gain any yards, run the ball. But, uh, you know, we let him out of the pocket a couple of times, and he, he hit a couple of shots down the field. Uh, and actually, two of them, we actually fell down in coverage. So uh, I, I was pretty proud of us. I mean, the, uh, you know, the, those shots where we were in coverage, I mean, he just put the ball around the money really in, in a position where we couldn't defend the ball. So uh, I was very happy with us. I mean, really, when it counted the other night, we played, played great defense. And, uh, you know, just, you know, again, got to make plays uh, on, on those deep shots. But other than that, it was a good, good, good win for us. Okay, let's talk about Southeastern. Uh, you have seen Tape of the Lions. Mm -hmm. You are now familiar with them. Uh, talk about the challenges Southeastern presents. Well, uh, I think they're very, very talented at wide receiver. Uh, they're, and they're very, very talented at running back. The running backs run the ball extremely hard. Like always, they're very good up front on their offensive line, very athletic, very big. Um, you know, they're spreading, spreading you out right now. I mean, they're, uh, you know, what you're getting is, um, you know, basically two personnel groupings, uh, one back, one tight end, and one back, no tight ends. And uh, what they're doing is uh, still run the ball, but really spreading you out and make, making you defend a lot of the different formations and uh, pass concepts. So, you know, we, we got to go in again and make sure that they can't run the ball, to take away the run, and then make them one-dimensional and make sure we do a great job of keeping the ball in front of us and, and tackling well in space. How do you feel about where your football team is right now as we are now? Uh, coming down the stretch, so to speak, of the season? Well, I mean, we're, we're three and three, and we're two and one in conference. And, uh, you know, uh, with our schedule, to, to be totally frank, uh, we have a chance to be four and three at the break. And if a little genie would have appeared out of a bottle and said, look, coach, I'm not going to tell you what you're going to be open week, but you can take four and three right now. With our schedule, I probably would have taken it. Because that means, you know, you, you you did not win the two money games, and you got meat in a close game to Matinee State, which we should have won. But four and three at the break, and not knowing the other outcomes against a, a great schedule, you know, the fifth ranked schedule in all of Division I football, I'd have taken it. So four and three will be a great start for the Demons. We've got to get this victory to get there. Okay, specifically, let's talk about the offense. You guys scored 37 points. And um, you move the ball very, very well. A nice balanced attack. 
Talk about what made us a successful night for the Demon offense. That whole week, we did have a good week. We, we worked hard all week, and, uh, and, and Brad Henderson really led us through it all, and he, he really did a good job for us okay. that night. Um, you stand 2-1 and one now in the conference race with two wins on the road. It's This will be basically the middle of the conference race. You get to four or seven games Saturday. So uh, talk about how you guys feel about the conference race right now. We just have to stay focused, have to keep on pushing, keep on driving, and hopefully that will uh, lead us through. We just have to take one week at a time, week by week, week by week. So that will really help us out a whole lot. All right. And let's talk about the uh, uh, challenge Saturday, uh, 6 o'clock in Turpin Stadium playing Southeastern, a team that was off last week. We can't go in there like thinking that they aren't better than us. I mean, each team have a chance of, of winning, and I wish them luck. And this week we will work hard and we'll be prepared to go against Southeastern. Uh, tell us uh, what you guys thought about the game Saturday night as a football team. Well, coming to the game, we knew that it was going to be passing. We knew the quarterback get out the pocket a lot and look downfield, wanting to throw the ball. Don't really want to run, but he will run. And we prepared ourselves and believed in the program and came in with a good plan and chose the plan and went with it. All right. Uh, from a defensive perspective in that football game, uh, what did you guys learn uh, that's going to help you, and uh, how did you guys measure up? Well, we we know how to how to defend against versus the pass, and which which we uh, need to improve on from last year. And we are run stop D, so that that was not that wasn't a problem, and we just ready to carry over to the next game. Okay, you guys have given up only four touchdowns in the last three weeks. Now you're playing another explosive offense uh, and one I think that might be kind of similar to Lamar and they're spreading the field and throwing it all over the place. Uh, talk about uh, the, what, you, what how the Lamar game is going to help you as you go prepare for Southeastern. Well, I know coming to this week, Coach is going to have a good game plan for us. Probably going probably gonna to be a little like Lamar because they're they going to spread it out and they're going to try to pass the ball, run it here and there and we're going to carry, carry the same game plan over and come out with the same, the same mindset, ready to, ready to uh, defend versus whatever they, can, they bring get us in. We're going to go with that. Okay. We've just played our sixth football game in 11-game schedule. We'll play our uh, fourth conference game of seven on Saturday, so you're really at the middle of the season. What can you say? How, how do you see this team right now? Are you guys where you need to be as a football team? Let's not take the record out of it for a second, but how do you feel about this football team right now? Well, first, it's always room for improvement. So a, t a team being, uh, we have a, a lot of young guys steady uh, learning the system and having to uh, get a little more trust into the system and buy into it, we're going to be okay. We're, uh, we're doing good right now, but I mean, every week we're going to come in and work harder and harder to beat whoever we're playing. Okay, one more question. Uh, uh, you're a veteran player. Uh, you've been through this before on the college level. Homecoming week, uh, is that a challenge for this team just to get through all the different stuff that goes on with homecoming week, or does it really not matter and it's just focusing on Saturday night at 6? Well, me being a vet, I mean, it's just another game. We got to come into the week just like we came into last week and any other week and just prepare ourselves and stay focused on, on the game plan and just do what we have to do.